All right, today I'm going to show you how to put on an Astro counterweight. Uh, Astro is a sliding counterweight. These are 3D printed and, you know, rocket <laughs> inspired. Uh, this is the Mark 1 and it is already uh, installed. You can see I've got the big knot on the back, the landing pad, and then the body. Uh, the body is free, free sliding, the landing pad is tethered. So here's how you um, install one of these. This is Mark II, which is um, slightly uh, like flatter on the top and a heavier design. Uh, I think this is a great one to start off with. Uh, and the first thing you're going to do is take uh, your string and you need to get it through this guy. And we made these holes kind of small uh, on purpose. And these holes are obviously bigger so the, the string can slide. What I do is I just uh, open up my, my string loop and I add like a little piece of wire you can find other ways to do this. You can also, if you want, you know, if you have a drill, you can drill these to be bigger. I assume if you have a 3D printer, you probably have a drill as well. But basically, all I do is just kind of take the wire, uh, you know, kind of put it through the, the loop at the bottom of the string, and then just pull it through and pull it through. If you need help pulling it through, you can always use a tool. <laughs> but you know that this one came through fine and once you've done it once I think it's really easy to kind of do it again uh, so for now we're just gonna pull this all the way through and you want to make sure you have some sort of knot at the bottom if you want to be extra extra careful you can make this knot even bigger but uh, pretty much any knot will will work on this so yes now we're gonna just pull this through and we have our landing pad that's the lighter weight that gets tethered to the end of the string. Now we're just going to do the same thing and go through here. Then we put it on a yo-yo just to kind of keep that on there. And now what we want to do is we want to tie the knot behind this guy to keep it from, from being able to come off the string. Uh, what I like to do is have the yo-yo on the ground and the string should come up to about my belly button and then about an inch above that I just make a little loop and I'm just going to do like a normal kind of finger loop uh, knot that we do, a little slip knot. So just go through. If you want you can make it even bigger. But that's really all that we're going to need to keep that from slipping off. Cool, so this is the final setup. Um, if I were to put this on the ground, this would come up to about my belly button. That's kind of just where I like it. That's where I keep my free hand weights. Um, the way I usually hold it, um, I usually kind of let it come up against the bottom of my ring finger or even pinky finger. Uh, but I think what I usually tend to do is kind of hold it just with that ring, like let it to the point where it stops, and then the pinky just goes on. That's I feel like that's how I throw it, although my style probably changes as I play. Um, then you can do just kind of normal freehand stuff. Uh, the weights will stay at the end of the string. Uh, if you want, you can grab the, the sliding weight and you can, sorry, you can grab the tethered weight. So for something like that, I just go from holding this to holding this or another kind of common setup is to hold this time the sliding weight and throw the light weight Another kind of common position that I, I use sometimes is holding the landing pad between my thumb and middle finger and kind of having just a hoop, just the same hoop that you would use for, I think that's called the plastic whip. Um, basically I'm going to do a plastic whip, but I'm only holding onto the base and what's going to happen is that weight 
gets thrown around. So that's something that you kind of see every now and then. Not that I did it well here, but like just the idea being, I'm gonna do a whip, but I'm gonna throw that way. As you kind of play around, you'll just start to learn uh, different ways to hold, but mostly you're just alternating from holding the, the middle and throwing the light end, or the end and sliding the middle. Doc, she's so dope, dude. Like, I went to the show to see the boys, and she was there, and I don't think she was there to see them, but she had these Joy-Con earrings that I caught. Uh, both? I came out to see some friends live In the green room for the standard high fives When I heard a voice from the other side Immediately was entranced Not known for being bold but felt I had to take a chance In the hallway by the speakers Yo, I mumbled as to you wanna dance Shortly after asked if you wanted some dinner Next day we hung out after stalking you on my Twitter I don't know what game we're playing but I know that I'm the winner man